What do you think about this? One of the winter's most popular flavors could be leaving a bad taste in your mouth this holiday season. I know. Shops and retailers are dealing with a shortage of peppermint. Abby Larico is on the story for us. Say it isn't so, Abby. I had to do some deep digging, some investigative journalism on this one because it is very important. Of course, we know the peppermint flavor, first popularized in candy canes, has spiraled into all facets of our holiday diet. It's in coffee, cocoa, sweet treats, ice cream. But the merry and bright taste of peppermint could be a little harder to come by this year. If you've lost your taste for supply and shortage stories, we'll buy it local if it's available through suppliers. We couldn't find it there. We went to the big box stores. We couldn't find it there. We hope you still find this one refreshing. We do peppermint flavored coffee, peppermint gooey butter cake. I mean, yeah, it's 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 a big thing this time of year. So when Park Avenue coffee owner Dale Shodi couldn't find the key ingredient, he almost didn't believe it. I mean, I, we order peppermint in November. We always order peppermint in November. It always comes in, you know, the first week in December, we're good to go. Not this year. Christmas came early Friday morning. We ended up finding one place online that had it, and it actually arrived today. I felt like I won the lottery. At Clementine's Creamery, owner Tamara Keefe's been stocking up on their peppermint supply for months. What is more holiday than peppermint? Anticipating the shortage of the minty fresh flavor. It's a supply and demand, right? There's a finite amount available, and what happened during 2020 during COVID is all production was shut down. Just because the world opened up again, that doesn't mean that all of the raw ingredients and all the supply chain and everything had ingredients and things ready to go. It's been especially important for their featured flavor, a partnership with television personality and St. Louis son Andy Cohen and local nonprofit Doorways. And it's flying off the shelves. We would have been stuck with this amazing, great selling flavor that's donating lots of money to Doorways with no ability to make it had we not planned ahead. Mint, good business, sure, but also nice, they say, for the holiday spirit. Peppermint is just such a part of the, the holiday tradition. It wouldn't be home without it. It's the little things sometimes that make a big difference. Okay, so here's the real talk. Kind of like other food and grocery shortages we've reported this year, you may or may not notice this, or you might be paying a few more cents without realizing it. We reached out to local grocer Schnooks. They tell us they saw some supply cuts in their candy cane order, but customers should still be able to find them in stores. If it's super important to you, though, don't delay and just pick it up early. Either way, you've made me very hungry now. <laughs> I want some peppermint candy.